so we'll see what is a new product development process you have first a concept suppose i want to develop a new product so i just start with the concept and i and i i propose this to the management and i say okay i want to go ahead with it so i just get an initial approval that i want to develop a product okay so once you start with the concept you start doing the planning work okay so the first important thing is planning work this is this will as we go ahead you will understand planning is one of the important phase of apqp so that's the first phase so after your planning you collect all the requirement you justify why this project is required you collect market requirements to define the product to a extent that you can propose the management okay i need an approval to go ahead of this so you get a program approval from your management so this is the first part then second phase you start is design and development so once your project is approved by the management you get a go ahead you start designing your product so the second part is product design and development here you finish it with a prototype so you make a sample prototype and you say okay i'm able to i have a product which is satisfying the customer requirement or i have a product which can meet the specified requirements so you define a product but is product really sufficient no you also need to develop a process because it's not a prototype that you are going to sell you are going to sell mass productions so the next important step is process design and development so the third part is process design and development and it only ends when you create the pilot lot so you start with your processes and then process design and development and then you end up with a pilot lot after this once your pilot lot is completed you again have to validate whether i am capable of making mass scale productions whether my product is able to manufacture to the required quantities required time required quality of the product required cost of the product so you have to validate your product in depth validate your process to the mass scale production so the next phase is validate product and process and then you launch your product so this is the four important steps and the fifth is as it goes to the production the next step which goes in parallel is feedback assessment and corrective actions so you monitor your complete four processes and you have feedback and corrective actions so this is a typical new product development process in terms of time i would say till your program is approved you are called as plan and define program then there is a phase where your product design and development verification is completed then you have process design and development verification completed then you have product and process validation and of course throughout all those processes you have feedback and corrective actions so i go there are five phases of apqp i start with the phase 1 as I, as we had seen it earlier it's basically the plan and define so you define what you need to do so you plan it in advance two you have the product design and development so you start developing the product design third is you do process design and development so once your product is ready you 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 go into process development fourth is product and process validation so you have some eight tools we'll be seeing this where you validate your product and process and next we have the feedback and assessment and corrective actions so we will be checking the feedback of all these phases will be doing corrective actions and will be ready for mass production so these are the basic five broader processes or phases of apqp 